Well, hello everyone. I'm here with Susan Hickman. We're at the Megaton Brewery just outside of Kingwood, Texas. And uh, before she gets on stage and performs for everyone here, we're going to have a chance to talk with her, uh, learn a little bit about her, and uh, see what makes her tick. So thank you, Susan, so much for coming out and letting me interview you. And uh, I appreciate that a lot. Absolutely. Good. So just a few questions. And uh, you were raised in this area, correct? Yeah, I, um, I, was, I was raised in Atascacita, Texas. Okay, very close to here. Okay. So I uh, saw that you were homeschooled. And uh, which is actually around this area, quite a few people are, but not everybody. So did that have an effect? How did that affect uh, your career and your choices and things you did? Um, well, it definitely gave me the ability to, um, to travel a lot more than I would have if I would have been tied to a public school. Um, I think the experiences that I got, um, not only just on the road, but um, I think my relationships, I have deeper relationships with a lot of people because um, I was able to kind of come up with my family and you know they, they kind of taught me everything that I should okay. have known I guess <laughs> <laughs> okay and now is your family is there other musicians in your family absolutely okay yeah. so what's the background there oh my gosh okay so my dad's brother um, Ronnie Hickman uh, he played in a band for years he still plays um, he recorded his um, his first CD actually a couple years ago um, on my mom's side of the family, I, my mom taught me how to sing. She taught me how to, how to harmonize. Oh. Um, I started piano when I was five. We just, all of all of the people on my mom's side of the family, very, very musical. Okay, okay. So you said you started playing piano when you were five? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so uh, did you, at, w at what point did you, I, obviously you liked music and got into it when you were very young. At what point did you find that that was something that you wanted to make your, make your thing, make it your career or whatever? I kind of knew that I was always going to be on stage and, and pursue singing as a career, but when it kind of started to shift for me, like I, I was going to actually do it um, and make money doing it, um, I was probably about 11 or 12 years old. And I went, to, I went okay. to my mom and dad and I said, hey, this is what I want to do for a career. And they're like, okay, show me, show me that you're serious. And mm -hmm. so I started kind of, uh, I got in the phone book one day and I, I made a bunch of appointments at like 12 years old <laughs> and I, I gave them to my mom on a Sunday night. I was like, this is what we're doing for the next couple of days. And she's like, okay, I guess you're serious. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's impressive. That's impressive. So now is, is this your full time career or, or do you do, are you involved in other things too? Um, I mean, I'm involved in like, I have some hobbies and stuff like that. I mean, I, I like my skydiving and stuff like that, but, right. um, music is my, 100% okay. focus. Okay, okay, okay. So you've been doing this since, well, you're five basically, and then got serious and started booking, getting bookings at 12. That's pretty impressive. Um, what would be some of the things that you consider to be the, some of the biggest challenges or struggles for you in, in doing all this? Um, I think one of the biggest things is being stereotyped as a woman. Mm. And I hate bringing that up because I don't like to, I don't like to put it under a magnifying glass, but it's mm. such a huge thing. And a lot of other females in the industry, I think that they would agree. And I think that um, here just just a couple of days ago, CMT actually, I don't know if you saw, but they made it to where it's 50-50 across the board now. So 50% oh. male, 50% oh, okay. female on there. So that's a huge deal for us. Right. Um, it's just... That stereotype, I think of, oh, you know, it's a female, you're not going to draw as much, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be as popular as the boys, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. I think that's the biggest ah. struggle. So what would be the biggest challenge, uh, not that, you, that was the biggest challenges, I'm sorry, what would be some of your biggest, what you call the most rewarding parts of this, what gets you, what really gets you energized and so forth? When I touch people with my music, mm -hmm. that's probably the, the biggest fulfillment. I mean, I think as a musician most of us will relate that when you when you have a song that you're able to touch somebody with and they're able to to come with you come to you after the show and say hey that really that really meant something to me right. and i appreciate that and i appreciate what you do that's great yeah it's that's very great. fulfilling so what song are you going to play for us tonight that's going to touch me and the other people here tonight? <laughs> well, hopefully it touches you guys. Um, it's my new single that I have out on country radio. It's called Rewind. Mm -hmm. um, I wrote this song about five years ago, 
we're finally putting it on a CD. It'll be on the CD that's coming out this summer. Um, but it's out on country radio now. Um, it's moving up the charts, and we're uh, we're promoting it big time. So um, I hope you guys like it. I'm looking forward to hearing it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Well, that wraps it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can get out and support local musicians like Susan and uh, get out and support your local businesses. And, uh, but most importantly, I hope you'll get out and enjoy life.